Thanks everybody for being here. This is also, you know, very exciting and also a little nerve wracking. It's a, the more times I do, it seems like the room gets a little bit more crowded. So it's a good sign, but you're all very beautiful people and I'm scaring you a little bit. Um, so I want to start the presentation off. Five ways WordPress can change your life. As my friend Rich kind of mentioned, I'm Shada Tarabi. I work for WP Engine, and I've been to a lot of WordCamp. And the things that I've learned, the people that I've met, uh, the stories that I've you know, seen and been a part of have really helped shape and change my life. And so I thought that I would package it up, create a little presentation, and share some of the wisdom and insights that I've learned from being involved in the WordPress community myself. So this is a really fun picture. I don't know if you guys are um, familiar with WordCamp US. Has anybody heard of it knows what it is? Woo. Woo. <laughs> so WordCamps happen all over the world. And multiple different cities, and WordCamp US is kind of the pinnacle one. It happens once a year. It used to happen in San Francisco, and last year it started rotating. So it was in Philadelphia for the first time, not actually being in Philly next year again. But this was a picture taken of just some of the people. There were 200 people who were a part of the community summit. So it was a chance for developers, bloggers, influencers, people who um, are part of the WordPress community, who have made an impact to it, to be invited to help discuss ways in which we can help make it better for this year. Um, and I just, I love it. I've been so impacted by all the people in this picture, in this room, and all the cities that I've been to. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I kind of wanted to start off today by setting the tone. Um, this is a guy who's kind of staring out at a beautiful scene, kind of overlooking some water. I love to travel, so I thought that for me this would be reflecting of the things that I like to aspire to have. I aspire to have flexibility in my life. I aspire to be able to do the things that I love to do. I aspire to have good relationships and people who care about me and want to help me succeed. And truthfully, I've been able to find a little bit of all of that with WordPress. So whether it's being able to travel to another city, like for example, right now I'm from Austin, Texas, and I was invited to speak at this WordCamp by the great organizers of WordCamp Atlanta. And getting the opportunity to be here is something that helps me further along my goal and passion of being able to travel. Um, so I want you guys to think about what some of your priorities are. What, do you, what makes you get out of bed in the morning? Are you a small business owner and you want to look how to make more clients? Are you a blogger and you're here looking to understand WordPress a little bit better in ways that you can further your skills? Or are you somebody who has no idea what WordPress is and this is your first introduction into the community and so you kind of wanted to come get a little bit of history of what WordPress is? Uh, the bottom line is you're all welcome and you all have a place here in this community. And it's something that, again, over my experience with WordPress and WordCamps, has sincerely changed my life. I mean, I found WordPress about eight years ago. It's been my platform of choice ever since. But it wasn't until I started working at WP Engine four years ago that I really found what the WordPress community was. And I'm talking about WordCamps, um, meetup groups, things like that. And so for me, being a part of WordPress was always really cool. It was a great platform. It had great tools. But I didn't know that there was this whole other, you know, gate of amazing people with backgrounds and stories and experiences that I had never experienced for myself. So being able to put myself in a position to just soak up everything that, quite honestly, every one of you brings something really unique and special to the table. And if I can do one thing, that is to champion and cheer you guys on to do what you do best, like that is my end goal today. I. I've literally not met a single person in the WordPress community who has not been friendly or open or wanting to tell their story. So talk to people. If this is your first time, go introduce yourself to a stranger. If this is your fifth or your 10th or your 20th time, I still encourage you to go talk to somebody new, get out of your comfort zones. So we're gonna take you guys back. Some of you might know, some of you might not know. Uh, WordPress was founded in 2013, or 2003, sorry, uh, making it 13 years old. And it was founded by Ma uh, Matt Mullenweg and Mike Little. So there was a platform called Cafe Log B2, and it was forked, and basically WordPress was created at the time. Of course, they didn't know that it was going to be this popular, and this many people were going to have businesses, and sites, and blogs that were going to happen as a result of it. Um, but they took a chance, and they started something new. And then in 2005, Automatic, the parent company behind WordPress.com, was founded. And Automatic has been brought into basically uh, act as a governor over WordCamps, for example, through the WordPress Foundation. They create great plugins like Jetpack, Gravatar, things like that, basically helping empower and fuel WordPress to continue to grow. And then in 2006, the first WordCamp happened. So WordCamps have really been around for only 10 years. Um, and there are events like this, which some of you have maybe already found the joy of. But they're $40, they're two days generally, lots of great content, all for you guys to take advantage of. So I know that you're 
got your agenda, you know, you want to go see certain sessions, you want to go introduce yourself to certain people. But some of the best experiences that I have had have been me just standing in the hallway and catching somebody who looks a little lost and being able to guide them to the room or, you know, stop them and see what they're up to and always, always, always ask them what they do. I love to just start the conversation with, what are you doing with WordPress? Um, what that does for me is it opens up the dialogue for me to be able to share with them people that I could introduce them to, or meetup groups that they should be attending, or a session that I think that they might benefit from. Um, so just being aware of the opportunity that exists within WordPress is how you yourself are going to have your life impacted as a result of it. So some more facts. Uh, 15 years ago, <laughs> only 7% of the world was on the internet. And now there's over 30% growth with over 40% of the world having access to the internet today kind of translate that into WordPress, and WordPress today is worth over 26% of the internet, which some history, a little bit more for you guys, just two years ago, it was only 24% of the internet. So while it's been around for 10 years, it's literally upticked such a lot of growth in the past year and a half. And we're seeing that growth happen in enterprise companies, and more bloggers joining on the platform, more business owners moving there. You know, opportunities to creating a freelance business on WordPress. WordPress has just become this amazing hub of opportunity for people to take advantage of. And so, like all good storytellers, I thought I would tell stories of my friends, of the people that I've been impacted by from the WordPress community, just by allowing them to change my life, by saying hello to them, by going up to them after a talk that they've done and asking them questions about it. Um, I think something that I have really appreciated that I like to share when I give these talks is everybody started basically where you are. Everybody was sitting in a chair at a talk or listening to somebody talk and thinking, how do I get my business to be that successful? Or how do I get the courage to go up on stage and talk about something that I'm passionate about? Or how do I go and I you know, insert whatever it is that you want to do with your life, whatever is passionate to you? We all started from zero, basically. And so I've worked really hard to build up my connections and my network and the people that I'm going to talk to today, but you have that power too. You have that ability. And I've literally never seen such a more dynamic, caring, passionate, friendly, concerned community than in the WordPress community. And I really believe that it can be life-changing. So some of the personas that I've kind of popped these um, friendly faces into are you're a business owner. You were able to quit your job to be able to run your own business as a result of WordPress. You're a distributed worker. You enjoy being able to work wherever you want, whenever you want. And because of WordPress, you're able to do that. The developer, you love code and you love being able to communicate at a technical level like that. And being able to do what you love to do every day of your life is empowering. The business person, being able to see an opportunity in WordPress and create opportunities for others out of it, whether it's another conference or creating a business for yourself. And the teacher, WordPress always comes back to education. Again, we're sitting here in a room, you're learning from me, hopefully some great things that will resonate with you and carry you out through your days. But being a teacher is something that is a part of every one of us. We all have something unique and special that makes us who we are. And being able to share that with other people is, is that special connection. And so I'm, again, hopeful that you guys will learn something unique from this talk today that helps empower you and push you forward to living the best life that you can so I believe these are the five ways that WordPress can change your life. You can feel more connected. You have a more supported community than any other one that exists in the world. You have the opportunity to take chances, to dream big, and the empowerment to do the best work of your life on cutting edge open source technology, which is WordPress. So the first one that I'm gonna talk about is connectedness. So I have a quote up here, I'll read it. WordPress is accessible worldwide. There are over 40 plus translations of WordPress with 89 word camps happening last year with 21,000 attendees in 34 countries. That's a lot. To give you guys some perspective, this type of setting is happening not just in Nashville and in Austin, Texas, but in Pakistan and South Africa. And all, all these places all over the world, there's people who are curious like you and me who have found value in WordPress, who want to learn more, who want to give back, who want to be a part of something bigger. And because WordPress is so connected globally, you can have this experience in Atlanta and have clients who are in another country, you can have customers who are in another country, you can learn from somebody who's in another country. Um, 
just the opportunities are endless, and it's because this community has a foundation of uh, openness and a passion for wanting other people to feel connected to what they're feeling, <coughs> that I really truly believe that if you just open up to what already exists, you'll find success in it. Um, for me, I, I'm gonna kinda get a little, <laughs> a little real talk with you guys. I've been nervous of getting up here and giving this talk. I've been to so many word camps, I've literally sat in their seats, I'm looking at some of my friends who have been cheerleaders for me to get up here to do the things that I'm passionate about, which is truly the WordPress community. I cannot begin to think of what my life would be like without WordPress. I mean, kind of going back to my story, I didn't really know that I wanted to go work for a WordPress company. I mean, I was using WordPress, but I didn't really know what WordPress could be for me in the terms of like a business opportunity, having financial stability, to have the ability to travel, to go meet people. And so I kind of got thrown into it, to be honest. I didn't willingly go to a word camp. It was, this is your job, you're gonna go to a word camp now. And then by being in the community and sitting in the same seats as you guys, I started feeling that, hey, this is really cool. I'm getting a lot out of this. I learned a new plugin for my site, or I learned uh, you know, how to improve the SEO with my site, or I made a new friend who is now going to help promote my food blog to their friends. Um, you just never know what you're going to find, and so by being open to the power of the people who are sitting next to you, behind you, in front of you, in the hallways, you begin to start feeling more connected and understanding that WordPress has the ability to connect you to more people than just the people in your, your local cities. So, this is my friend Patrick. Patrick works at WooCamp, which was acquired by Automatic. Both companies basically have the platform stand that they want their workers to be distributed. So they work from all over the world. So while WooThemes is headquartered in South Africa and Automatic is headquartered in San Francisco, their employees literally work all over the world. So Patrick, for example, lives in Denver. I just think it's really cool to touch on this story of being able to do the best work of your life from wherever that is. Um, I know a lot of you probably are freelancers or small business owners, and that's a dream of yours is to be able to supply uh, you know, food and shelter and love to your children and to your people in your direct family and you might be able to do that by the power of WordPress and I'm kind of here to help champion and tell you that whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it with WordPress. So for my friend Patrick, he wanted flexibility. He wanted to be able to work on his own schedule and how he wanted to work and where he wanted to work and because of this company empowering this type of lifestyle, this type of community, he's able to do the best work of his life thanks to WordPress. Um, last year, I think there was a really big shift in digital nomads. Um, for those of you who don't really know what digital nomads is, it's the same concept of being able to live and work wherever you want. Um, and I think that as technology grows, as WordPress continues to take market ownership, more and more people are finding the success of being able to quit their traditional jobs or shift from a traditional lifestyle to a more digital lifestyle, meaning doing work when it's convenient for you. And that's something that you're really excited and passionate about trying to pursue. There's a lot of people in this room. I'm more than happy to help connect you to who those people are to help you be able to do that type of work in your life. The next thing, and one of the kind of pillars of my talk is the community. Being able to, you know, find people who you can relate to, who share your passions, who share your concerns. Um, and the first hard part is you guys did it. You showed up to WordCamp. So, um, let's do like a little share of hands, like whose first WordCamp is this? I'd say that's like a third of the room. This is your first time. Like, thank you for being in my talk that, you know, you were able to read and be part of other people's experiences, but you came here and, and thank you for that. And for everybody else who didn't raise your hand, I hope that you will continue to help me champion the goodwill of WordPress by being a good community steward of being friendly and welcoming and open. Um, and so this is another kind of little fun fact. WordPress is local too, with over 2,000 meetups happening across the country and 40,000 people attending those meetups. Um, so for those of you that this is your first WordCamp, meetups happen pretty much in the same scale, you know, a meeting like they happen in every city all over the world. If there's not a meetup where you're living, I'm sure there's one close that you can drive to, and if there's not a meetup where you're living, I challenge you to start the meetup yourself. Um, they're great resources, you get great experience if you want to maybe start speaking at WordCamps to get your talks and your ideas out there. They're resources of people who want to just help you solve your problems. Um, a great kind of plug right now is for the happiness bar. For those of you who don't know what the happiness bar is, it is people who have volunteered their time to just be available to you to answer questions. 
whether it's technical, design, um, if you just want to understand you know, when and where your next meetup meets, there are people who want to help you solve those problems. And that is the heartbeat of the community, is these people who just want to open up and be available to you guys with resources and knowledge and maybe they don't even want to talk about WordPress. Maybe you don't even want to talk about WordPress. These are just people who are awesome people who want to be your friends and they're going to be there for you for life. Um, and one of those people for me is Bob Dunn. Bob Dunn is also known by Bob WP. He's based in Seattle, and he, to me, is the epitome of the WordPress community. He is kind, he is knowledgeable, he is there for you when you need him to be there for you. And again, we don't live in the same city, so Bob and I rarely see each other, except when we're happening to be in the same city at the same time. But what Bob does is Bob is a teacher, so he basically teaches online WordPress courses, so accessible, again, in any city, in any part of the world, wherever you are. But he's also local to Seattle, too, so he's part of this local Seattle WordPress meetup group. He's speaking, he's educating, he's doing one-on-ones. Um, he's somebody who, because of my openness to the community, because of my openness to having these long-lasting relationships, he's somebody that I now call a really dear friend. I mean, we're Facebook friends to the point where, you know, I'll publish a picture of me, you know, at dinner with my boyfriend, and he's like, oh, you know, I'm so happy for you guys that you're celebrating your anniversary. Like, just the thoughtfulness that somebody who doesn't live in my city, somebody who is clearly not my age, is caring about me, who wants to see me succeed in whatever level that means. Like, seriously, I'm getting goosebumps. Like, it's so, it's, it's real. Like, it's really real, and the community can do that if you just let it. Um, so Bob is, uh, somebody, again, who's really near and dear to my heart, a great evangelist of the community, and somebody that I encourage you guys to go you know, check out and, and follow, because he's giving a lot of great education on WordPress and how you can further your WordPress expertise. The next thing I want to talk about is the opportunity, uh, the opportunity that WordPress creates. Again, going back to there is 26% of the internet is on WordPress. I think a lot of people wonder, naturally, well, what's you know the other... 70% of the internet if it's not WordPress. Actually, the breakdown, and if anybody wants, you can go look up W3 Tech. They have the actual breakdown of it. Um, everything else is such a small sliver. Like, WordPress just takes the cake for the adoption, the amount of people who are using the platform, the amount of things that are being done with WordPress. Again, from you know single site owners who are just bloggers, I just food blog, to Fortune 500 companies are putting their businesses on WordPress because they see the power of it, they see the innovation of it, they see the security, they see the growth opportunity that are, that's happening with WordPress. And so again, boiling it back down to the opportunity exists. Um, Americans are diversifying their work, juggling more <coughs> in different kinds of projects and more actively pursuing a career path that doesn't follow the traditional one. I think that is so cool that in 2016, you have the power and the ability and the opportunity to literally not work a nine to five job. You do not have to go into an office. I understand that there are certain things that we do because we have to put food on the table, we have to take care of our family, or it's a means to an end. But if you really get down to what excites you, what makes you passionate, what would you love to wake up every day and do, I think WordPress can help you find that passion and happiness and success in life if you let it. Um, and it starts by connecting here at WordCamps and being in your meetups and you know having conversations with people who you think can help you get to the next level. And so one of those people is one of my friends, Kiko Doran. Uh, so Kiko formerly was a consultant. He ran a small business, and he had a lot of questions. You know, how do I grow my business? How do I handle accounting? Um, and him and one of his friends, Josh Broden, got together and said, there's not a conference that exists. Why don't we create this conference? So they, three years ago, created a WordPress business <coughs> conference called Prestige Conference. Um, plug for Prestige Conference. It's a really great small scale but really intimate business conference that gives you up close and personal time with these people who have kind of come before you and, and done it and been successful at it. And so for me, I look at people like this and I'm saying, wow, what a great opportunity that somebody no longer has to ask, how do I solve this question? I'm going to go find the answer myself. I'm going to create a conference so other people can find the answers to these questions that we're all sharing. And so I'm just I'm inspired daily by these people who are able to quit their jobs, work remotely, work distributedly, work on things that are challenging the innovation of, of technology, really, and, and do the best work of their lives. Uh, the next one is empowerment. So I, you know, 
know, feel empowered by WordPress. I feel empowered to do whatever I want to do, how I want to do it. It goes back to the open source nature of WordPress, meaning if I want to get up and give a talk at a WordCamp, all I have to do, like who's stopping me? You know, nobody is saying you can't speak. This is only reserved for people who have been here for five years or longer and have all this wealth of knowledge. No, when I gave my first WordCamp talk, I, yes, I had been to some word camps, so I had some experience with that, but I don't have to speak very often. I'm not, you know, I saw one guy, no disrespect to him, he's a public speaker for his job. He gets up here and does this all the time. You don't have to have, you know, a degree in marketing or be the most technical person to be able to get up here and communicate ideas to other people. It starts by you just saying, I have an idea and I've got some, you know, some, some skills and some passions and how do I do that? And so for me it was, talking to my circle of influence, talking to these people who I you know, admire and have been inspired by and saying, I think I'm gonna get up there and give a WordCamp talk. And you know what they did? They said, you do it, girl. You do it because you've been through something. I've been through something you guys haven't been through. And y'all have been through something I haven't been through. And together, we communicate to each other and we can learn from each other. And I really think that's the most beautiful thing that, that WordPress can do and can teach us is that we can come from different lifestyles, different backgrounds, different demographics, different ages, genres, whatever you name it, and still have something to teach each other and still have something that can tie us together and empower us. So with over 53 million freelancers in the US alone, more and more creative professionals are opting to leave the daily grind and work for themselves. Again, I think that's so empowering that people can do that, that we live in a day and age where that's not, you know, taboo to quit your job to go work on this, you know, digital internet thing called WordPress. People are doing it. How many of you in the room are freelancers or small business owners? There's a few of you. Is it always easy? No. You work really, really hard at it. And you have to be working hard at it. But kind of driving it back to the WordPress community, you're here hopefully to network with people, to learn some new skills, to help you know, do, do your business a little bit better, learn some marketing skills, learn some technical skills, whatever it is, know that WordPress can meet you where you are. It's um, really sweet, actually, I was talking to a lady who was upstairs who was sitting in the speaker room, I was preparing, I was a little bit nervous, and um, she was telling me about her mother, how she invited her mother to come to WordCamp. Um, it's her mother's first time, it's this lady's third time, and she was saying how her mother, you know, doesn't know what WordPress is, isn't really comfortable with technology, and I don't blame them. You know, as technology continues to rapidly grow, there's always a new this or a new that every other week, and I know that I'm victim to it too. Sometimes these new social platforms, I don't know how to use them, and I get nervous, and I don't want to do it, but that's just not to say that you shouldn't do something that scares you, it's to say that you should feel empowered to do something new, and so this woman was telling me how her mother is, is coming to WordCamp, to WordPress, to learn something new to find a new hobby and passion of hers, to fill the time. No, she's not trying to run a business, and no, she's not trying to build the next Fortune 500 website, but for her, WordPress is a means to feeling empowered, to having a voice online, to being able to be in community with other people who share her passions. Um, and I can relate to that, because for me, I love WordPress, love my day job working with WP Engine, but I'm a foodie. I love to eat food. Um, like mission number one is where is the best place to get, you know, insert whatever for that city. And so being able to tell my story and my passions online with my readers is what jazzes me. Like I love coming to WordCamp and learning about a new plugin that helps me make my site more personal for my readers and then being able to connect with people and, oh, you're from this city or you're from that city. Where do you eat or where should I eat? And it's just taken this whole concept of WordPress to a whole new level for me. It became personal. It's become part of my life. I literally couldn't imagine my life. And so one of those people is Jennifer Born. She is one of my friends, she lives in SoCal. Her and her husband started a WordPress agency. She was um, working back in, let's see, so I don't butcher her time. So she quit her job in 2005, started her own agency, found WordPress in 2008, and in 2009 she was like, WordPress is it, we're gonna do everything on WordPress. Jennifer not only quit her job, her husband quit his job. They now both are employed by their small business. They now have more time with their kids. One of the things that I love about Jennifer is that she is so motivated and excited about spending time with her kids. And I've been able to see her flexibility through being able to be empowered to do the best work of her life because of WordPress it comes down to her spending more time with her family and her kids and things that matter. Um, again, work is great, money is great, all these you know wonderful things that WordPress can afford us is great, but the people, going back to feeling loved and 
and in a community with people that matter. That's what's important. Being able to do something with your life that empowers you and gives you the opportunity to be flexible so you can spend more time with your children or your spouse or traveling the world. Let's say you want to spend time travel. You can do that. And so it's these people that every day are showing me the opportunities that exist within WordPress and that you can do it too. You have the power. It's literally, it's here, right here. All of us have it. Um, the last one is open source. So WordPress is based on the open source GPL v2 license, which is general public license, which there's a lot of fancy words that you can Google what GPL means to get the full you know, dictionary version. But my version is it's free and open. So what that means is you can take a part of code, and if it's not doing what you want it to do, you can build on it to make it better. So you see a lot of this happening with themes, with plugins, people are taking one idea and they're adapting it to another idea. It's this open community of, if you can dream it, you can build it, they will come. And I think somebody else mentioned that in his other slide, sorry. But, uh, if you build it, they will come. It's clear that WordPress community has a lot of people who are creating opportunities for themselves or creating the lives that they want. They're able to do all this because WordPress is open source and because it's, it's this new cutting edge, uh, innovative technology that's constantly growing because of the people who are building it, which is all of you guys. Um, so WordPress is the most dominant content management system on the web today. It has a diverse user base comprising personal, comprising of personal bloggers, Fortune 500 companies, and all types of businesses in between. WordPress's flexibility makes the platform capable of meeting almost any business's needs. Um, it's pretty cool for me because I work for a WordPress company that I get to see um, a lot of times some of the cool businesses who are on WordPress. Um, and so one of the kind of fun ones that I've seen recently are um, Snoop Dogg and Katy Perry have put their websites on WordPress. Um, also you have companies like Asana and AMD, so really large. Uh, Asana is a project management tool for Facebook, so I kind of like to say Facebook's on WordPress a little bit too, but you're seeing some of these big brands, big people, personalities, big businesses choosing this platform. Why? Why are they choosing WordPress? Because it's open source, because it's innovative, because there are people who are working to build it to make it better. So for me, that just is more empowerment opportunity to make it better. The things that you're working on do affect other people, and it's attracting more and more people to the platform that I'm really hopeful that by the next time, you know, this WordCamp Atlanta comes around, we're at 28%, we're at 30% market share, WordPress keeps growing, it's because of the people who are here working to build to make it better. And one of those people for me is my friend Joe Casabona. So Joe lives in Pennsylvania. He works for a distributed company, a distributed agency actually called Crowd Favorite. Um, they're one of our friends also. And they are doing some really innovative stuff with WordPress. They're working with a lot of bigger clients trying to help build and develop WordPress to you know, the next level. And for me, being able to tie all these things together is really like the, the magic sauce. It's like he gets to work from wherever he wants. He gets to build new cool things for WordPress for really cool clients who are saying, you know what, maybe we should put our business on WordPress. And he's feeling fulfilled because he's tapped into this community, he just speaks a lot of WordCamps. He's an educator, he's there <coughs> teaching. It's, it's not one-sided, it's not, you know, well, I'm just gonna go have my job and work here and then not give back to the community. It's, you can't just show up and not do something. So I'm hoping you guys feel compelled to, to do something, to talk to a stranger, to, to start a meetup, to, you know, the volunteers even in this room, the volunteers who are getting up, who are introducing speakers, who are helping open the doors, that's giving back, that's helping get back to WordPress. So what unifies all these people is WordPress. <coughs> it's given them their ability to define their own path, find happiness and success in doing something they love. And by contributing back to making WordPress great for the next generation, with WordPress you can change the world. I hope you guys acknowledge too that every one of these stories, there was some overlap. I kind of referenced it in my initial slide with all of them where you're not just a business owner. You're also an educator, and you're not just involved in the community. You're also, you know, trying to uh, run your own business or trying to live the life that allows you to be distributed and work from wherever you want to work from. Um, I, I really, I mean, I wouldn't get up here and just tell you a lot of like pizzazz about WordPress. Like WordPress isn't paying me to say like, oh, WordPress. WordPress is the best. It's like my life literally is different. Um, I will go tell you guys a little personal story really quick. So I was in an accident um, about six months ago. I might get a little emotional because it still hasn't healed. I was, I was uh, hit by a car as a pedestrian and it sucked. It was really bad. I was like 
out. I couldn't walk for three weeks. And you know who the people were who came by my side? I mean, yes, my friends at home in Austin and my family were there for me. But it was the people in this room. It was the people on those screens. It was the people who I made relationships with at a word camp who were there trying to buy me dinner or send me flowers or ask how I was doing. I mean, these are, these are it, it's more than just a platform that you log into and you build client sites for, or you make your, you know, your financial living off of it. It's, if you allow it, it really can move, it can really change your life. I mean, I was not a believer, you know, that the community was, was the thing that you should really buy into until it changed me. It's almost like it happened when I wasn't paying attention to it. You know, sometimes bad things happen and you, um, get a perspective a perspective shift but um it does it really it, it gave me that perspective of there are people who want to just help me succeed i want to help you succeed i want to empower you i really want to just let you guys know that you can do the best work of your life and wordpress can empower you to do that so also i believe in giving back giving back to the community it doesn't have to be big it can be small um, some examples for me, I'm not super technical. I like to speak at word camps. I've also organized a word camp before. I like to volunteer when I can. Um, Make.wordpress.org is, is really important to me. It's basically a page that lists out all the ways in which you can help give back to WordPress. Um, whether you're technical, maybe you speak multiple languages. They've got a polyglots team, which is helping translate WordPress into more and more languages. Um, if you get anything out of WordPress, I hope you feel compelled to give a little bit of yourself back to the project. It goes back to the open sourceness of it all. You know, if we all decided that we didn't want to work on WordPress today, and everybody at every other city that had a WordCamp decided the same thing, would WordPress, you know, build itself? I personally don't think so. I mean, it literally takes every one of us waking up in the morning saying, I'm going to insert whatever it is that you're doing. Um, so you guys are really helping build, grow, shape WordPress. You're impacting the people that are sitting next to you, that are sitting around you, your neighbors. Um, and so I just, I hope you guys realize that you don't have to be technical, because for me, for the longest time, I thought, how do I get back to WordPress? I'm not a developer. I can't go up and give a technical talk. Um, I've even shared some comments with some of my friends, like, do community talks really work? You know, do people get anything out of them? Do they really understand how how important it is to make sure that you're connected as you're learning about just what the next plugin is that your site could benefit from. So I really, I thank you guys for showing up to this talk today because it is important to me and I hope that it's a little bit important to you that the power to change your life exists within. And I fully believe that WordPress has, you know, all the pillars of being able to find that success. So these are my three simple rules for life. Um, if you do not go after what you want, you will never have it. If you do not ask, the answer will always be no. And if you do not move forward, you will be in the same place. Um, it's something that I tell myself every day of my life. Before I walk in this room, I'm scared. I don't want to do it. I'm sick. I got to go home. Nope. If I do not go through this experience, if I do not put myself up here and be vulnerable and fumble a couple times and you know not say the right word or say the right word, like I'm never going to know how to do it better next time. And if you don't ask people for help, for advice, for opportunities, how do I know that you needed you know, a developer for your new project? I don't know unless you tell me, but if you tell me, then I can say, hey, well, I've got this person who's in your area, or this is the type of project that you're working on. Maybe I should connect you with that person. I mean, let people help you. Let me help you. Let the people in this room help you. You have to open yourself up. You have to be a little bit vulnerable. It's a little hard sometimes, I will admit, but um, I really believe that that's, that's the key to how you you change your life with WordPress. And so that's all I have. My name is Shada Tarabi. Um, I'm at Shaq Tora on the internet. I'm at Diamond Shada if you like food and want to see where I eat. Um, some fun things about me are I'm a world traveler. I like to hike. I like to blog. Uh, I'm a lifelong learner. I think education is really important. And for me, I'm a dog connector. So I love meeting new people. I love hearing what excites you and kind of putting it in my portfolio of how can I help connect you to the person that's going to help change your life. So. Thank you guys for being here. I will open the floor to questions. No questions? Everybody's good? So I've been with WP Andrew for four years. When I joined the company, there were 12 other people. Um, and so I did a little bit of everything. I joined the marketing team, and I primarily did our events program. And I recently transitioned out of events, and now I do product marketing. And I love, 
I love WordPress. I'm grateful for the company for giving me the opportunity to um, find something that I literally couldn't imagine my life without. Like, it's thanks, and it's great. What is a good place to be? I'm so glad you asked because I've already been eating. So um, last night I oh my gosh I'm gonna hold I'm okay I'm gonna tell you guys a secret you can't tell anybody outside of this room. I ate dinner three times last night. <laughs> okay so first one was great it was um, the juke. The Duke Point? Sweet Georgia Duke Joint. Sweet Georgia Duke Joint. We did the, the speaker dinner there. It was really great. I would recommend it if you're in the area. Um, then we progressed with another group of friends to Flint Burger. We purely went just for milkshakes. Um, and then had to have burgers also because they looked and smelled so good. And then my favorite meal of the night was I went to Holman and Finch. If you have not gone there, if you're local to Atlanta, it was recommended to me by some foodie friends who formerly had lived here. It did not disappoint. It is a gastropub, but it is, um, so what they're known for is their burger, although they probably wouldn't like me telling you that because when we asked her about the burger, she's like, yeah, we're at a burger place. I'm like, yeah, we have a burger that everybody talks about. Um, so get the cheeseburger there. And then I got, what is it called? The, the crunchy lady. I was calling it the crazy lady all night. Um, <laughs> the crunchy lady. It's like a croque madame. So like honey ham, Dijon fried egg on top. It was perfect. It was so good. So if you guys have recommendations for where I should eat tonight, I have a really good Mexican place called Nuevo Laredo. That's over near Ikea. Yes. Ikea. Okay, good. Nuevo Laredo. 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 See, if I didn't ask, if you didn't ask where I was eating, and then I didn't ask, I just didn't ask. See, I love it. Full circle all the time. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I only do when I travel, which is only so often. Uh, no, so are you going to vlog that last night? Do a what? Are you going to vlog all these full Oh, absolutely. Oh, I'm going to be a little bit late about it because we're out eating. Out eating, yes. That's always the hard thing. It's like, oh man, I've, I've got so many places that I need to vlog up, but I've also got to go eat so many places. So it's been, it's been a fun passion hobby of mine that truthfully has helped bring me back to WordPress. Like working in WordPress and like using WordPress are a little different sometimes. Um, and going back to kind of how I got started, which is how I found the company. I was a music blogger, I used to be in the music industry. And uh, WordPress was my platform of choice for all those years. And then when I got into WP Engine, they were like, do you know WordPress? I'm like, do I know WordPress? I know WordPress. And then you get thrown into a job and like all good things, your passions sometimes fall to the side. And so I didn't blog for a long time. So I was in WordPress, but I wasn't blogging. And then about a year and a half ago, I actually had a friend at one WordCamp, WordCamp Milwaukee, who told me, I'm going to challenge you a year from now, you're going to have a food club, like you're going to do it. And I was so proud to shake her hand last Milwaukee when I was speaking and tell her that I had been blogging for a year. And it's just, it's been, it's been fun, it's been a joy, and I love it. I love everything about it. Moroccan food is very good. It's not cheap, but it's very good. I've never had Moroccan food. So good to know. Right. Thank you guys. I'll be around. My company, WP Engine, has a booth. You guys want swag, you want to come talk, you want to hang out, talk food, talk WordPress, whatever it is, connect you to somebody. Happy to help you guys, whatever way makes sense. Thank you guys.